So though we may not have all the answers about this thing called soul, it is the human experience we're all having, and um, we all know we're having it. I mean, Descartes said something like, I think, therefore I am, to try to explain this self-awareness. But um, you guys know that I'm a, oh, I don't know, I, impulsive hobbyist. Whenever I get stonewalled in one hobby, I seem to go to another hobby. And because of my back injury, it forced me out of the sports that I like doing. And I ended up into a lot of other things. And one of the things I like is drones. That's a really cool hobby to be involved with. But I got into photography. Um, so I, I got a new camera. And it's a great camera for beginners. But here's the thing. I don't know a lot about the usage of this camera. I mean, it's like a week and a half old. And, um, but one of the things that I discovered is that the lens and, and how it's used pretty much determines everything. Um, there's these elements of aperture and shutter speed and this thing called ISO. And, and I know that these three are interrelated with each other. And so I've been watching all kinds of videos on what is aperture, what is shutter speed supposed to be, and what is ISO and how the interplay of them. And, and I've listened to a lot of different photographers explain it to me. But I have learned one thing that my soul seems to be the lens of my understanding of the world around me. Um, and, and you may be new to this whole soul thing, like I'm new to the camera thing, but it doesn't mean that you have to wait to figure out how to take some good photos, even though you don't understand all those components. But know this, that the operation of your soul, your mind, your heart, is paramount. And it's all important when it comes to how you view life, how you cherish other things, and how that cherishing process works. So when I began making that list about what is important to me, what is after my relationship with Christ and his kingdom, I, I began to realize my soul is really important. And it needs to be something that is cherished, something that is protected, something that's nourished, something um, that is uh, just secured with truth and wisdom and understanding. Um, and maybe when you hear all this, you hear a, from the scripture things like rules and right and wrong and morals and ethics and commandments and uh, precepts, your, he your head begins to spin just like my head spins when somebody tries to explain to me ISO and shutter speed. But we need to remember, it's not about controlling the camera. It's about getting great photos. We're not, when we look at our relationship with God and we look at Christ and we look at the idea of maintaining our soul, we look at the principles of God, truth and ethics, and it's, it's not about ethics for ethics sake. It's not morality for morality's sake. It's all about the adjustment of the lens and the, and the direction of our souls. For what purpose? For the purpose of getting a, a good snapshot of about what life is all about. It's about cherishing and using your lens the right way.